Hey, good morning. Welcome to Teacher Bea Online. But first, have a great morning breakfast. We're now into factoring polynomials. Factory is finding what to multiply together to get an expression. For example, 4 and 5 are factors of 20. When you multiply 4 by 5, the result is 20. The factors of the binomial 3x plus 6 are 3, quantity x plus 2. How did that happen? Before we further proceed, let us understand first the area. The area is about the measure of the inside of a figure in square units. I hope this will lead you to the appreciation of algebra. The square, the green figure, has dimensions of x and x. To find the area, we need to multiply the given dimensions x times x. So this green figure's area is x squared. The blue one has sides of 1 and 1. So the area is 1. The width of the red figure is the same as the blue, which is 1. And its length is the same as the green, x. Therefore, the area x times 1 is x. May the use of the known algebra tiles be of help to rekindle your interest in algebra. We have tile representing x squared, a tile for x, and a unit. In this case, we will need only x tile and the unit. In 3x plus 6, we need the x tile and the unit tile. To represent 3x, 3x tiles are needed. And for the positive 6, consider 6 positive blue tiles. You can arrange or connect the tiles by the measure of the dimensions. How are you going to do this? 1x tile, the second, and the third. Where to put the positive 6 tiles? The unit tile has 1 as its dimension. Therefore, Place the unit tiles like this, following the size of the sides 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Creating a rectangle is our mission as we connect the tiles. We need to know the measure of the sides. In the horizontal line, there are three one unit sides. In the vertical line, one dimension is x. You agree? There is one x. We consider the blue ones positive. That is why we have a plus sign. Then, how many one units are there on the side? Two, right? Therefore, the factors of 3x plus 6 are 3 quantity x plus 2. The factors 3 quantity x plus 2 can be checked using the distributive property of multiplication. 3 times x is 3x, and 3 times 2 is 6. There you go. In 4x plus 8, we need 4 x tiles and 8 unit tiles. Arrange the tiles to a rectangle following the size of the sides. We have 4 unit tile size, 1x, and 2 units on the side. Therefore, the factors are 4 quantity x plus 2. Let us have case number 2. We have 12x plus 15y. Let us look for the greatest common factor of the numerals first, 12 and 15. The GCF is 3, right? The next step is to examine the variables or letters. 
the first term has x and the second term has y, and they are not the same. Therefore, there is no common factor among the variables. Underline the given binomial as a reminder that each term shall be divided by the GCF. 12x divided by 3 is 4x. We use the parentheses to separate one factor from the other, and it denotes multiplication. Positive 15y divided by 3 is 5y. In this case, we will choose m with an exponent of 1. Therefore, the common factor is 6m. Dividing the first term, 18m squared, by the common factor 6m, the other factor is 3m. And dividing negative 24m by 6m, the result is negative 4. Remember that we do subtract the exponents of the same variables when we divide. Let us check this one. The numerals are positive 12, positive 32, negative 16. What is the GCF? You got it right. 4 is the GCF. Observe that all three terms have an A and a B. For A, the least exponent is 1. For B, the least exponent is 2. Therefore, the common monomial factor is 4AB squared. Divide each term by 4AB squared. 12 by 4 is 3. A squared by A is A. B squared by B squared is 1. Any factor multiplied by 1 is the factor itself. We will not write that anymore. It is cancelled out. Thirty-two divided by four is eight. A is cancelled. B cubed by B squared is B. Negative sixteen divided by four is negative four. A is cancelled. B squared is cancelled too. The final answer is 4AB squared, quantity 3A plus 8B minus 4. How about this? We have 2A plus 8A plus 12B minus 24. We have to combine like terms first. We have 2A and positive 12A. 2a plus 12a is 14a. The common factor of 14, 28, 21 is 7. There is no common factor in variables. The greatest common factor is 7. 14a divided by 7 is 2a. Positive 28b divided by 7 is 4b, and negative 21 by 7 is negative 3. The final answer is 7 quantity 2a plus 4b minus 3. It is your turn. Find the factors of the following polynomials. You may pause the video and grab a pen and a paper to answer. May you have a perfect score. You have three items to answer. Happy solving!
and there's more. You can do it. How do you find it? Did you get a hard time answering it? Let us take a peek on the correct answers. Are you all ready? Check this out. See? I hope you learned something. Till next video.